This is Don Lugo. Where vast majorities of people, cultures, and great minds dwell. Don Lugo is also home of the Conquistadors, where pride dances in young people's hearts. The people at Don Lugo are very friendly and focused, just as the athletes in the sports program. Don Lugo is also the home to many students that enjoy school. You'll get by if you smile through your fear and sorrow. One thing Don Lugo students have is a great amount of respect, of respect, of respect, of respect, 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 until now. Hi, my name is Rachel. And I'm Christian. And you all have heard about the disrespect on campus this year. From Ms. Hill getting in the altercation with students. From Mr. Carr getting bitten. To Monopoly getting jumped. Like seriously, there's so much disrespect in this campus, not only towards students, but towards staff members as well. Treat people how you want to be treated. Respect people if you want to be respected. So we came up with an idea to try to get kids to challenge themselves to be more respectful. We came up with these bracelets to Basically, show the teachers, show other students that you're challenging yourself to become better. Challenge yourself and go at lunch tomorrow. There will be bracelets, but first you got to sign a petition to show us your support. So, go get the bracelets. Thank you. Jamie, how do you feel about the disrespect at school this year? Um, I feel like the disrespect, um, it's getting out of hand because uh, it's not just the dis uh, disrespect between students, it's also between students and teachers and it's, yeah, it's getting out of hand so we need to like, resolve it, resolve our problems with words, not fists. So, uh, yeah, just, just be cool about it. Just don't overact and cause so much drama. I mean, high school is supposed to be fun, so let's just have fun with it, right? It's really sad because we have really good teachers who actually care about their students. And Monopoly is actually a really cool security guard for them to hear what happened to him and to hear what happened to other teachers is very outrageous and it's really bad. And I just wish that we can just somehow um, just work that through. You don't need to like do that to a teacher, not and not even a student. You understand what I mean? Basically. Um. Well. What I think about violence is that like, if you don't respect others, then it leads to violence, which also leads to loss of respect. And trying to earn the respect also leads to violence, and which also makes people afraid of the world, and they have issues with other people around campus. Like, have you seen campus lately? Fights all over the place at lunch, and even with teachers and security. What is that? Um, well, oh. <laughs> well, I personally think fighting is pointless and barbaric. So, your friend tells you that your boyfriend is cheating on you with the girl in your biology class. What should you do? Solve the problem. Go talk to them. Not start a fight. And what do you do? You go and start a fight with that person. Come on, be mature about it. Don't start fights. Uh, I've been going for the school for two years and I've been seeing nothing but racial slurs been thrown around. Um, just the other day I see people making fun of Asians, Mexicans, and even Indians. Uh, honestly, the school could be, should be working on that. Um, one of the major like signs of disrespect I see on campus is definitely the trash everywhere. Like the trash can can be like two feet away from you, like right next to where you're sitting, but yet people will just like throw it in the planner or like put it on the ground. Like I don't understand. They even put out like recycling bins, and people still like just throw anything they want in there. It's pretty gross, like, to be completely honest. I don't understand why you can't just throw your trash away. It's like right there. Like I try not to hang in, hang out in front of groups because there's just a lot of violence, a lot of people talking bad about others. So um, I just hang out with my little group off to the side. The thing that bugs me the most is um, school lunches. Like when I'm always in line, everyone's always trying to cut me. 
and some people push really hard just in order, in order to be in front of me. I wait my turn forever and it just seems like I was the third person in line and I quickly become like the 17th person in line. Respect goes both ways. Once you go into, if, when you first start off going to the classroom, you have to go into your classroom and respect your teacher straight up. You have to be nice to him because if you're just rude, then he's going to know you're one of the bad kids and then he's going to treat you wrong. And then that's wrong of him to do because he's assuming, but that's only if you give him a reason to assume that you're disrespectful. Yeah. If you have a problem at home and you're bringing it to the school, why are you going to do that? You're just showing everybody else that you have problems. And if you have really have problems, go to a counselor. Go to go to a teacher and say and talk to them personally. Don't talk to them in front of class. If you have a problem with them, talk to them after class or before class. Not during class when everybody else can see because you're just making him look like a fool. You're making you look extremely disrespectful. But didn't your parents teach you to be respectful? Isn't that like the one like the number one rule? Be respectful to your elders. Their teachers you're there to learn from them, not to criticize them and treat them like your parents or like your aunts or uncles. But like your friends. They're they're elders, they're teachers, you learn from them. They grade you, and if they don't, if they grade you bad, then you you fail. That's it. Okay, so there's this quote that says, um, "Always be nice to people, you know, because you never know what that person is going through." Um, for example, like a lot of people do go through hardships at life, and you never know if they're like going through the worst time. So like a simple high can make a big difference in someone's life. I mean, that person, if that person has problems at home or whatever they may have problems with, I mean, like, there are always counselors that are willing to help. And um, I'm sure if you pretty, go, pretty much go up to any teacher, they're not going to say, no, I'm not going to help you. Everyone's willing to help. So um, yeah, I think that just people need to remember that there's always someone there for you, even though at the worst time of your life. Now that you know about the bracelets, um, we'll be having a poster out in the middle of the quad that is more of a written record of showing that you want to contribute to our change to our school so that we can hang it up throughout the year so we have evidence that our school is going to be able to change. And play a part in something beautiful Embrace life, appreciate the fact that even breathing Cause we in the crosshairs and it's open season If each one teaches one, we got a good start You're not a square cause you care and have a good heart We gotta speak soft and listen harder It's right in front of our face, but we don't even bother uh, Think about it, uh, think about it Be about it, don't be afraid, speak about it uh, Don't cry about it, even though they lie about it Set a fire and inspire Stop fighting. Be yourself. Alright. One at a time. One at a time. We can change. I feel like my generation's complaining about things we don't have. But if you think about it, we ain't got it so bad. Trust me, I know bad. And I met worse. And it'd be so sad to sit and let it get worse. It's a simple concept we need to grasp quickly. We end up wishing we did something differently So go and spread the word And not the virus Come on, let's get together Try and put this all behind us uh, Think about it uh, Think about it Be about it Don't be afraid Speak about it uh, Don't cry about it Even though they lie about it Set a fire, inspire Don't turn it on the cheek about it Can't change the world